My two year old had a 30 minute tantrum because I wouldn't let her touch the cat poop in the litter box. <laughs> okay, all right, little girl, seriously? I say just let her touch the cat poop. I mean, you know, she's gotta learn somehow. She's gotta learn that it's nasty and gross. I mean, geez. Really, girl, you gonna curl up into a ball just because you can't touch the cat poop? I mean, what's so great about cat poop? Is it better than dog poop or something like that? I mean, uh, is there something I'm missing? This little girl needs to go to counseling or, or something. You, got, you gotta take her to some therapist. If she's obsessed with touching cat poop, ooh. Nope, 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 not today, girl. About to put you up for adoption or something. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't do it, I can't do it. But yeah, today we're taking a look at funny reasons kids started poop. Or, or wait, no, cry, crying, dang it, dang it. I got the cat poop on my mind now, jeez. Thanks a lot, little girl. Funny reasons kids started crying, yeah. Go ahead, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, yeah, man. And yeah, comment down below your favorite animal. Is it a cat, is it a dog, or is it a llama, or a tiger? Let me know. Got the link to the merch in the description below. Get there, get some, check it out, yeah. But hey, let's keep it going. My three-year-old lost it because I put cheese in her cheese sandwich. Oh man, you kids are spoiled. Jeez, why are you kids so selfish and greedy? You're getting mad because your mom put cheese in your cheese sandwich? What, what kind of sandwich? Are you gonna go to Burger, burger King, King, ask for a burger without the burger? Like, what do you want? For lettuce. You better just lie on the floor. Just lie on the floor face down and like, I hope people walk on you. <laughs> God. Girl, you are spoiled. You don't even know what you want. What's wrong with you? Getting mad at the cheese sandwich, you need to be getting mad at that outfit. Mm-hmm. Apparently when she asked for cheese, what she really meant was ham. <sighs> Well, girl, uh, the, the cow goes, girl, cheese is the square yellow thing, all right? And then ham is the, the, what color is ham? It's like, it's like a gray, kind of like a grayish, bluish, yeah. My two-year-old planked in our tiny kitchen, spat food all over the floor, then turned off the oven while I was cooking. Why? Because I wouldn't let him shut my head in the fridge door. <laughs> oh man, these kids really trying to drive their parents to drink. I'm sorry, little boy, that I'm not gonna let you uh, decapitate me. I mean, mm -mm. I ain't gonna let you cut my head off via the fridge door, not today. These parents are giving birth to some weird kids. I mean, basically you gave birth to kids that wanna kill you. I mean, what the heck? And they just wanna lie on the floor and throw a tantrum. You know what, you go ahead and stay on the floor, dang. Next time I got a vacuum, I'ma make sure you're on the floor and I'ma run the vacuum all over your head. I'd be like, bet, I'll let you shut my head in the fridge door if you let me shut your head in the fridge door. But then again, child services will be knocking at my door, so. This round goes to you. I wouldn't let him eat a battery for breakfast. Oh man, gosh, these crazy kids, what do you want? Why, why, are, you, why are kids born so stupid? I'm sorry. You kids gotta learn. You gotta learn that you can't eat batteries. There's acid in batteries. You don't understand that that's gonna kill you. Boy, it's gonna make you sick. You know what, fine, go ahead and have a Duracell battery for breakfast. What, you want some Energizer batteries on the side? And what, you wanna wash it all down with the TV remote? Mm -mm -mm. Just like grandma used to make. This boy just looking like mad and angry. He's just like, why don't you let me eat batteries? Because it's gonna kill you. I'm trying to save your life, you dumb little boy. Sorry, sorry, I was just, you know, I mean, that's why I don't have kids right now. That's why, that's exactly why, because I probably, you know, I'm. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to deal with it. Oh, dang, look at that face, girl. I can smell your breath from here. <coughs> Close your mouth. This girl's looking like I just told her Christmas was canceled, man. It might be because of the coronavirus. I killed a bug in the laundry room. Apparently it was her best friend. You got bigger problems if a bug's your best friend, little girl. Are you serious? What, were you best friends with the bed bugs? I mean, what the heck, girl? Were you playing Uno with the cockroaches? Like, seriously? Like, I'm sorry that I killed the bug, but like, you, you gotta go outside and get some real friends. You can't really go outside and get real 
real friends because of the coronavirus. So you gotta stay indoors, stay in quarantine, but you know, I would have done the same thing. This parent has nothing to be ashamed of, all right? I would have done the same thing. If she had a human friend that kind of looked like a cockroach, I'd probably still try to stomp on her or something. No, no, I wouldn't do it, I wouldn't do it, I wouldn't do it. Okay, I'd do it, I'd do it. I told her she couldn't go inside the dishwasher. Yeah, I'm sorry, little girl, you can't. It's not gonna work. If you wanna get clean, you gotta take a bath like a normal person. You gotta take a shower, you can't, you know, you can't take the easy way out and then jump in the dishwasher and like try to get clean with the dishes. I bet you this girl also wanted to go inside the washing machine. Mm-hmm. She probably thought it was a hot tub. And then she probably wanted to go inside the dryer because she thought it was a roller coaster. It's not, by the way. Man, I can't deal with you dumb kids. I swear, I hope I was not this dumb when I was a child. I mean, I, I probably was. I feel like I was, but you know. It's okay, you just gotta live and you learn. Won't let her throw books at my face. Well, uh, dang, I mean, you know, maybe she's just trying to uh, throw some knowledge knowledge at you. Literally throw some knowledge at you. Just whoosh. I'd let her throw a book at my face, but I'd just throw it right back at her face. Mm-hmm. Crying just because you can't throw a book at uh, your parents' face. What the heck? You got all them toys back there? Look at them toys. This little girl spoiled. Jeez, you better go get your hair cut or something. Mm-hmm. And get up out of my face. I wouldn't be able to deal with the baby. I don't know how parents do it, but you gonna cry over that? Are you serious? Mm-mm, man. You gonna have to sleep outside, and I'm gonna feed you a battery for breakfast. I'm just kidding. All right, I don't want to, you know. No, I'm not, I wouldn't really do that, all right? I would love my child if I had a child. She's crying because she doesn't have more toes to paint. <coughs> this girl is literally giving herself a headache because what, you got 10 toes, that's it, girl. That's all the doctor ordered. You get 10, 10 and no more. If you got more than 10 toes, then you got a problem. Then you're basically an alien. I'm sorry, girl, that you done ran out of toes, but I don't know, just paint your fingers. You can paint your fingernails. Or paint your mom's toes or something. Find somebody else in the house's toes to paint or get a hobby or something, dang. I don't know, go into politics or yeah. She ain't gonna make it in politics if she gets upset this easily. Daddy touched my balloon. So you got mad because your dad, who pays the bills, touched your balloon and who probably bought you that balloon? Grrr. Oh no, call the cops, call child services. Uh, your dad done touched your balloon. It'd be one thing if he popped the balloon, but he just touched it, dang. What, you got heartburn? You're holding your heart, you're just like, oh God, my dad done touched my balloon, jeez. Girl, I oughta slap you to sleep, jeez. Are you serious, you getting mad over that, dang. You just ain't gonna make it in life, you're getting upset that easily. Slap the SpongeBob out your mouth. Slap the coronavirus out your mouth. Whoa. Dang, look at that crying face. Are you serious? Jeez. Everybody try to make that face just the. I can't tell if you're crying or if you're yawning or if you're trying to catch a fly in your mouth. I don't know. She is so mad that my shoes don't fit her. This girl right here, are you serious? I'm sorry, little foot, but you gotta grow into it, dang. Trust me, you don't want those ugly shoes anyway. Come on, girl, you better get yourself some Nikes. Better get some Jordans, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. And yeah, you don't want feet that big. I mean, dang, what, what size are those? Them some eight and a halfs? Sometimes smaller is better, all right? You know, I mean, well, sometimes like a smaller shoe size is better. Or for girl, for guys, bigger shoe size is better. I think you know, cause then you could jump higher. It help, if bigger feet help you jump higher. Yeah, that's what I'm going with, and I'm sticking to it. Dang, this nerd. Or I mean, this baby is mad. What is the problem? Jeez, y'all are seriously crying like you just saw Mufasa die in The Lion King. Dang. He finished his cheese stick. When I opened another one, he flipped out because it wasn't a new one he wanted. Mm-hmm. He wanted his old one back that he already ate. You ate a cheese stick, and you want the cheese stick back that you already ate. Well, you better stick your finger fingers down your mouth and throw up, girl, dang. Or guy, boy, little boy, dang. Babies just need to get with the program. Are you serious? Like, like, dang, that's not how things work. I know you're new to the world, but you better, uh, uh, get with it. I swear, I thought you were smart, too. You wearing them glasses, I thought you were smart. Or you just, you just can't see without them, so it, it ain't nothing funny about that. All right. I'm a nanny of a three-year-old who had a meltdown. I'm talking devastated crying because his brother his car window had bird poop on it and his didn't. Well, man, I'm all about equality 
hey, look birds, if you gonna poop on one car window, you gotta poop on the other car window too. You're seriously mad because your window ain't got bird poop on it? That's gross. Mom, his car window has bird poop on it and mine doesn't. It's not fair. He cheating. It would be some white babies who crying about that. I mean, you ain't gonna see no black babies crying about, oh, there ain't no bird poop on my window. It's not fair. It's bird poop, dang it. There ain't nothing good about it. Jeez, it's gross. You ever been pooped on by a bird? That's the most disgusting thing ever. That was one time I almost got pooped on by a bird. I was walking out at recess. I was like, hey, you guys want to play basketball? And then out of nowhere, bird whoosh, right in front of my finger. It was disgusting. That bird's racist. My daughter started bawling because I said, okay, dude, let's go to bed. She yelled, I not a dude. Man, dang, it, it must be 2020. I mean, you got to be politically correct. You better get your pronouns right, girl. I just Natalie. I then said, I'm sorry, Natalie. And she screamed at me, not to say her name. Man, dang, you, you, you cannot let these kids uh, be in charge. It's just not going to work out. I'm sorry. This poor mom right here, she was just trying to take her daughter to the museum and see the Triceratops. She just looks like a tired mom, but hey, girl, that's what you get for having children. <laughs> yeah, we got them. I will never have kids. Anyway, crying because the Golden Gate Bridge isn't actually golden. Yep, that's kind of like misleading. Um, yeah, I'd probably kind of cry too. I mean, you know, the Golden Gate Bridge should be at least somewhat golden. Why you call it the gold? Oh, because it's like the Golden State. Yeah, it's like Golden State or something like that. Anyway, girl, I'm gonna need you to move out of that empty parking space. Otherwise, I'm gonna run you over and I'll say it was an accident. I get the black man in trouble. You just gonna curl up in a ball in the empty parking space? Like, like, come on, girl. Some people need to park. Dang. Life is super tough when you can't pick up the book you want because you're sitting on it. Yeah, I've seen babies do that like all the time. They're just like, huh. Uh, I can't do it. Well, little boy, move off the book and then you could pick it up, you dumbo. Kids, they just have to learn. I mean, can you imagine if like adults were this dumb? <laughs> I'd be like, ah, dang, I can't get the book. What the heck, man? Why is this book so heavy? Oh, probably because I need to lose some weight. But anyway. What are you trying to read for anyway? Come on now, reading's overrated. You better pick up a phone. You know what I mean? Pick up a phone and get on TikTok. Dang. Uh, dang little girl, what is going on with them pants? You got the Pennywise pants. This girl got some pantaloons. I mean, yeah, nice. My little sister had an absolute meltdown when I told her she was born on a Thursday. She wanted to be born on a Wednesday. Um, you can't control that little girl. You better stand on up. Ain't nothing wrong with being born on a Wednesday. If you were born on a Monday, oh man, man, then it'd really be a crisis. We need to get this girl some painkillers or something. I mean, geez, she's having a tough time. I'm sure she's more upset about that blouse. I mean, man, girl, you better go go back to Amazon and return that thing. Hey, girl, you're dressed like a clown. Yeah, man, we got him. I'll give her a compliment. Let me say something nice. Uh, girl, you got nice, uh, mm, it's a nice color on you. The pink is a nice color on you. How about that? Yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And please turn on those YouTube notifications and join the squad. And hey, you guys be safe out there and I'm see ya in the next video. Peace.